All right, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Meta. We're going to dive right into it today. Topic of conversation, Bybit Testnet. How do we set up a Bybit Testnet account and get some fake money deposited into our accounts so we can practice trading over on Bybit's exchange? Bybit, in my personal opinion, is the absolute best exchange for trading crypto for an absolute beginner. No questions asked 100 times over. I have a Bybit playlist linked down in the description. That Bybit playlist will teach you everything you need to know about how to set up a VPN, what VPN I use to VPN into Bybit. Anytime you're trading on any exchange, you always want to use a VPN no matter Matter what and I personally use the Nord VPN and I always use Sweden to route in so that's all down in the description we're gonna dive right into it so the first thing you need to do is you're gonna need to create a regular Bybit account so again, if you go down in the description, you watch my video, it's just like creating a social media account, any other you know account on any place. You just need to use my affiliate link up here and my affiliate link will be linked down in the description. So as long as you guys use my affiliate link, once you get a regular account signed up, you're gonna log out. And then once you're logged out and your regular account's all set up, everything's good. You're gonna log out and you're gonna come down here and you'll see trade on Bybit Testnet. It's right below the login and right below the sign up now, but you need to have a regular account first and then you're gonna need to use my influencer code. So after you log in, so after I click the Bybit Testnet account, trade on Bybit Testnet, what that does is it opens up the exchange at the top. So it's your address at testnet.bybit. So that's how you can tell that you're actually on the Bybit Testnet interface when you're using the Testnet up here. And then again, we're going to click login. So I'm just going to jump off and log in really quick. So what's awesome about Bybit is A, they just added several new pairs. They are working on adding an actual spot exchange. So if you come over here and you click spot, I'm not sure if the spot is actually open. It's not open on the regular exchange just yet. I'm not sure if they let you practice over here and it looks like it's kind of coming together. Okay, so there actually is pairs over here. Uh, you can actually buy and trade now on a regular exchange. So if you're not even into leverage trading and you just want to practice you know, spot trading, you can come over here and you can spot trade now. And it looks like this is literally just getting up and rolling. I don't think I saw that this wasn't active like two days ago. But what is active 100% is their derivatives and which is their futures margin leverage trading. To me, I just call it I just call it futures or leverage trading. And what they what is another thing that's awesome about Bybit is a few people were complaining that they didn't have enough coins on their site. So when I spoke with their team, what they told me was they have an extreme audit process, which they go through through to determine what coins they allow on their exchange. And that's why until this year, we just saw Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, XRP. Those were the four coins that were on here. And then they added Cardano, Uniswap, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, L Ave, XTZ, Sushi, and XEM. So they only had 11 coins, but just yesterday, they just added a few more and they told me that they have such a strict audit process on what coins they allow onto their exchange for one reason, because they wanna see the people that are using their platform be as successful as possible. And I keep telling every one of my students that if you cannot trade, if you cannot trade Bitcoin and be successful trading Bitcoin, you're never gonna be able to trade another altcoin and be successful at it, in my personal opinion. Bitcoin should be the easiest one to trade and consistently be profitable. Now your trades might not be, uh, you know, thousands of dollars in the profit. You might not be making, a, you know, 100% on a trade, but you can still make consistent good profit. And if you can't consistently trade Bitcoin and be profitable, it's so much harder to trade any other, other coin because these other coins are so dependent on the price of Bitcoin. So personally, I just trade Bitcoin, Ethereum. I may be short some of these other coins here and there, but for the most part, in a downtrending market like we're in right now, I'm just trading just Bitcoin and Ethereum mainly. So we can come back over here now. And once you are logged in, the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here and go to support. You're going to open up the support tab. You're going to say request to deposit. So request to deposit money on testnet referral code 19834. That way that they know that I referred you guys. They just told me to do that. I don't know if it matters. Um, if they won't just deposit money on testnet for everybody but i assume because it replicates the real the real exchange so well that they don't want people to have millions of dollars over here because it would be they would be able to pump the you know they would be able to effectively effectively pump a coin if they had enough play money so it's just i don't really know why they don't just give you an option like okay i want to deposit ten dollars or fifteen dollars or why they want you to use to see that you're actually referred to their exchange by somebody i'm not 100 percent but 
that's exactly how you get the money deposited over here then you come over here and you could practice leverage trading and i have step-by-step -step tutorials which will teach you everything you guys need to know about how leverage trading on this platform works how to adjust your leverages how to place trades. what's really nice is they have this up here in the corner they have video tutorials so you can click up here and watch some tutorials you come over to the learn center and there's so much great content over here under their learn center as well I have step-by-step -step playlist up here in the right hand side you can choose what uh what you want to see over here on the charts this is probably one of my favorite features is their leverage calculator so if you enter a trade and you want to use 50x leverage and your entry price is on Bitcoin is say 35,700 and you enter that trade with 50x you can see that on a long your liquidation price would be 35,149 and if you are shorting it, your liquidation price would be 36,250. So you can see when you enter a 50X trade, you don't have much room for that trade to go in the wrong direction. That's why it's so scary trading these higher leverages because you need to make sure that you're on point. And if you're not, you know, you're gonna get liquidated pretty damn quick. Bitcoin going from 35,700 to 36,235 is no pretty damn easy. That can happen in a second. So again, once you have that money deposited, you'll be able to come over here and, you know, play around, mess around with it. I asked for like $10,000 USDT and I'm not seeing it over here but when i go into my funds in my account i actually see it in there so let's see if i can actually take one of these trades and again always make sure that you are on test net up here so you don't actually you're not accidentally logged into your regular account over here your order value slightly off from your quantity so every time i'm doing a quantity you're shorting in contracts so it's a little bit different but think of one as in you know one tenth of a bitcoin or or one equals a whole bitcoin so if bitcoin's 33,659 and you put one in here the order value is $33,659, but you're short, you're open short, the 11666 That's what you're willing to risk. Whatever's in the red box or green box, if you get liquidated, that's the amount you're going to lose. You're going to lose all of that. So I just come over here and just kind of finger it in like 0 0.01. Okay, 0 0.01 equals $110. And I want to open up a short and it says failed to submit because my funds are not here. So let me go back over here and see where my funds are at. So the next thing you're going to want to do once you're actually logged in and you spoke with support and they deposited money, it took them to like maybe 15 or 30 minutes to deposit the money and I had it ready to go. You're going to come over here to your account balances and you can see right here, trade spot now or trade futures now. Since I have, since they have a spot and a futures or derivatives account on here, when they make the deposit, they're going to deposit it into you, your spot account. So I just got to come over here, transfer from spot over here to derivatives. Let's just say I'm going to practice. I'm going to send over 5,000 and just hit confirm. Now it's over in my derivatives account. Now I can come back over here, go back to Bitcoin, for example. And now you can see I have easily, I have $5,000 in USDT that I can actually leverage trade and play around with. You know, if we wanted to market in and market out, now let's just check out what fees would be if I just instantly market in and market out of a trade. So we'll do it for 0 0.05. So say I do one for roughly 500 bucks. So it's $500 even. I'm gonna mark it in, which means I'm going to just be put in for whatever the price is. So by the time I hit this button in the next three seconds, if price changes, you know, by five bucks, 10 bucks, it'll put me in for whatever the price is at that exact point in time. So I open a short and I come over here and I'm gonna market close this short. Let's see what it's gonna cost me. So even though price was dead, pretty much dead even, right? Price did not move in that two seconds. Oh yeah, price did. Price moved a few dollars, but as far as percentage wise, not much. It cost me $2.40 just to open and close that short. So you figure you got $500 times 0 0.00075 equals. So maybe because price went down a little bit, but it should have cost me about 70 cents, give or take, to open and close that trade. But maybe because price went from 33,662 to 33,670 that I ended up for whatever reason paying about $2.40 in peas. Oh, cause my paid funding, that's right. So you also pay funding every eight hours, you pay 0.011% for funding. So you have an entry fee and exit fee, and then you have a funding funding rate. If you're going short and the market's bearish, you're most likely gonna pay funding. But a majority of the time the market is bullish, so you're paying funding. And this is why you're paying funding. So you pay funding every eight hours. And that way, even though your actual trade, the value of that trade would have been $1,444. If I go bankrupt, if I lose and get liquidated, I'm only losing $501. And that's what you're basically paying funding for, funding to. Funding is just like an insurance pool for all traders, which, hey, instead of getting liquidated and losing your entire account, um, you pay into funding. That way you only are risking whatever's right here in this red box, if that makes sense. So it's really easy to just, you know, play around on here and practice and get better at trading. Now you can see 
if I take a, the same type of trade and I limit in over here, I become a maker versus taker. And this is how I make, I trade every single one of the trades I take now. I'm always limiting in as a maker or as a taker, I mean, and what a taker is versus a maker. So a maker, you're making price come to you. So a maker actually makes money. Bybit will pay you to actually open trades because what do you do? When you set a limit buy order, over here you add price to the hourglass. So that lets them know that, hey, there's buyers or sellers. You're building the market. You are adding liquidity to the market by saying like, hey, at this price point, I'm willing to buy Bitcoin or I'm willing to sell it. So you're actually adding liquidity to the market. So Bybit is one of the only exchanges that actually pays you to do that. And that's what I love most about them. You get paid. Like I just DCA'd into Pundi last week. I came over here, applied the Mata method to Pundi, uh, found out that Pundi was already hitting some of my DCAT targets. And just because I trade so much on Bybit now versus KuCoin and these other exchanges, I'm making so much extra money that it's a no brainer. I, I don't mind saving that extra money. And if you don't, and if you wanna see the fee breakdown, go back to the beginning of this video and you'll see the whole tutorial on it. And I'm gonna keep recording. Just let me finish this outro really quick. All right, squad. So that's a wrap on Bybit Testnet. In my personal opinion, Bybit is hands down the best, the safest, the most affordable, the only exchange that pays you guys to open trades. So if you're in the money of, if you're in the business of making the rich richer, sure, trade on all these other exchanges. For example, Bybit ch charges you guys 0.1%, 0.01%, and they're one of the lowest priced exchanges. Well, Binance made 1.2 trillion in just in fees alone in the month of June. So in June, 2021, Binance just made $1.2 trillion in transaction fees. And they're still charging you guys funding. They're still charging you this. They're still charging you that. Where Bybit actually pays you because they're making so much money. They can afford to pay you to be a maker. So keep that in mind. That's one of the main reasons the whole VPN thing. I've never had any issues. I've never heard anybody ever having any issues where money was frozen because you were trading on that exchange because you used a VPN or anything like that. You're, you should be using a VPN. No matter where you live, when you trade, you should always have a VPN on just to protect your identity and protect your money. No, no questions asked. Oliver, what up, homie? Welcome to the squad. So that's a wrap of YouTube. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Love you guys. Trade safe. Peace.